All right, I think we're very close to having it fully seated. Thank God I have AC again because I was in Gainesville with no AC. Yep, it fully seated. So that was a super quick tutorial. But what is going on guys, it's Toby here. And today this is gonna be a super, super quick tutorial as to how you can install an AC stretch belt on your Chevy Camaro. So this is gonna be for the sixth gen Camaro. 2016 to current 2022 or 2023. What you're gonna need to do the job is obviously a GM OEM AC stretch belt. I have this right here. Then we have a simple ratchet with like a three inch extension and a 19 millimeter socket. Also gonna need a torque wrench or a breaker bar. What is that again? I think it's a 24 millimeter socket. Yep. We're gonna need access to turn the crank bolt. So what you wanna do is take off this intake arm right here. It is super simple. You can use a socket. I just don't have the right size socket. I'm using a flathead. And if you twist it enough, you'll get the collar loose. Once you get the collar loose, you can go like this. Pulls off just like that. Sorry for the lack of good angles. And then we're gonna move it off to the side. That's how I've been seeing people install this. They take the stretch belt and they bend it like this and put it behind the harmonic balancer. So they bend it, stick it over the AC compressor wheel. I'm gonna use my phone to record because we have the flash, but what you wanna do next is take your 16 millimeter socket and I accidentally called it a 19 earlier, but you're gonna get that around that pulley right there. This is to release tension on the belt. So all you do is turn clockwise, right? and your tensioner now lost tension. You can pull the belt off. So since I released tension, I can now pull the belt out of the harmonic balancer so that I can fit the AC belt on the third rib back here. That's what we need to do. If you guys have the stock LT1 lower, all you need to do is basically go to the second one back because there aren't three. This right here is for the blower that I had on the car. Once again, I'm just gonna get the belt out from the harmonic balancer and just be mindful of where you had the belt running before. If you get lost, you can probably look up a diagram showing the belt path, but we just need to slightly get this off to the side. We're not gonna completely undo it. The key to installing this stretch belt is to shove the belt, this portion behind the harmonic balancer, just like I am right now. This ensures the maximum amount of slack possible, and then we'll rotate the harmonic balancer with the torque wrench, and that'll stretch it over. So now that I have the majority of the AC stretch belt shoved behind the harmonic balancer, I'm gonna take the slack and wrap it around the AC compressor pulley right there. If you're patient enough with it, and if you get enough of the belt wrapped behind the harmonic balancer, you can see that I am now able to reach the AC compressor pulley right there with no issues. So that's wrapped around now, and we should be able to give it some rotations with the torque wrench, my bad. And with those rotations, it'll stretch onto the lower pulley. Now I should be able to turn the harmonic balancer and it should stretch the belt over if it catches properly. You may wanna put your hand down there and actually guide the belt, but you can see that mine is catching perfectly on the third rib, so I'm gonna continue it. You can see it's that black thing right there. All right, I think we're very close to having it fully seated. Thank God I have AC again because I was in Gainesville with no AC. Yep, it fully seated, so. That was a super quick tutorial. You can see that the AC stretch belt is now back on the AC compressor. I will have tons of cool air. Last step here is to reinstall our serpentine belt. So we're gonna do the same thing that we did to release tension. We're gonna take a 15, not a 16, my bad, and we're gonna put it on the bolt right here for this pulley, and we're gonna go down with it. That's gonna cause the tensioner to travel further down, and we'll be able to fix this up and get the belt over the rest of the harmonic balancer right there. Just showing this for display purposes, but I'm definitely gonna have to put the phone down to actually do this. So once you put enough force into it, some oomph, it'll go down, and you have tension to put the belt back on. Forgot to mention this, but if you find that the tensioner is not traveling enough, you can loosen up this bolt right here. It'll perfectly be loose so that you can have more travel in the tensioner and it goes further down. As you can see, I finished up the serpentine belt install, so we're officially done here. Let me get this all back together and then we'll test out the AC just to confirm that it's blowing cold air again. All right, let's see if my AC blows cold. Moment of truth there. No shot, it does. It's been so long without cold AC, man. I am so grateful. That's awesome. Awesome sauce. So that's gonna do it for the very simple guide as to how to install your AC stretch belt. 
without any tools besides a torque wrench and I guess the AC stretch belt and a few other sockets, a 16 and what, what else do we use, a ratchet. Downpipe tune, 440i, we're gonna get a zero to 60. 30. Oh, you couldn't even hit it. I didn't hit 60, what I hit? You actually had a good 60 foot that though. A bit of a turn. It was a 194 60 foot. That's actually pretty good. There's that turn hitting right there. Yeah. Do you think it would be better right here? All right, let's do it. 30. 60. You hit it, but you let off. Let me see. 424. That's actually pretty good. That's like a uh, two tenths, three tenths faster more, than the Camaro. Need some more road. You said two tenths? I did zero to 60 the fastest time in my Camaro. I think it was at the track, it was like a 4.4. No, no, it was like a 4.6. And what did I just run? 4.24, but you let off at the end because you ran out of road. Yeah. We got to do a full quarter mile run. Yeah. I think you'll go like a mid 11. Yeah, so now he has that stage three trans tune on. We're going to get a launch now and see if it improves the times. 30. 60. Like you had it. I mean, yeah, low, low end. Behind it, it feels yeah. like my turbo just like giving out. Yeah, kind of it didn't. Then, right? It didn't have power in the in the top end. Right? Like once sixty. Like fifth gear, I feel like. Bro, bro, your zero to sixty was three nine. I'm, I'm in the threes. Yeah, that's good. All right, we're gonna chase that eleven, right? Four thousand RPM launch. Thirty. Really spun. Really spun. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And hold up, we need to get some idle chop. Anyways, we'll see you in the next one.